so now that we completed uh, our application i want us to deploy our application to vassel so the first thing that we will do is that we'll go to our package.json file so at the root you can minimize everything go to package.json and right here at the script we will add something we will say uh, post install like this and here we will say uh, prisma generate so that our deployed project will be able to work well with prisma so post install prisma generate then we save that file the other thing is that we need to add this project at github and uh, the thing is i already have mine at github so i'll show you the process of adding the project to uh, github again so what you need to do uh, if you want to follow my steps you can go to where you have your project okay these are the projects files and uh, by default for me because I already added it on github. I have this dot git folder and It's usually hidden. So uh, You can look for view if you are on Windows and show and right here you can see I am showing hidden items So if I click on this one, you'll see that dot git is not there. So if I want to show it uh, I would go on view then show then I would show the hidden items and I see it here so this is connected to my github and uh, if i delete it i will simply remove that connection okay and now this project is not connected to uh, any github repository so if i want to add it to github uh, this is usually how i do it so i come to github uh, i go to repositories and i will create a new repositories as you can see, I already have a stay survey there. So here I can say stay survey uh, to be the project. Then I can say uh, prod just to differentiate it from the other one. Um, I'll keep it private and right here I'll create the repository. So once you create the repository, you'll basically have this information right here. So this is how you can create a local repository and push the project. And if you already have an existing local repository, this is how you can connect it to this remote repository here on GitHub. So now that I deleted that .git folder, uh, I should like do it from scratch, initialize a new repository and do all this, okay? So that is pretty easy to do. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll come to my project here and let's open the terminal and let's do it from here so the first thing is to initialize a git repo so i shall just say git in it uh, the second thing is to add my files okay so i'll just say git add and then use a star to add all the files and they will be added if you want to see the files that were added you can say git status and you'll see all these files have been added so things like node modules will be ignored from this list so if i open my fire explorer here okay it's not opening if i open my fire explorer here and if you come to a dot git ignore file uh, you'll see some of the files have been ignored like the dot env file uh, the node modules and other files so things like node modules these next the ones that are not marked here with green they'll be ignored okay because we don't need them there okay so now you can see we have 80 changes and this is uh, all the changes right like, like we have done on our project okay so yours should be around this number uh, maybe let's say 50 to 150 changes if you get way more that means that probably you are adding your node modules uh, to your uh, git and now we can create a commit we can say git commit and then minus m uh, i'm doing exactly what we have here actually and then we give our commit a name so here uh, what did we do 
we created the app created the booking app you hit enter and all those will be uh, added to our commits now these commits are only available locally so we'll need to push them to a remote repository so let's create the main branch using this command here which is git a branch minus m then i'll say main so we create a main branch oops uh, i combined the commands so git branch space minus m and that will create the main branch and then we we connect to our remote repository so i'll need you to copy these on your end okay on your side you copy yours and then that will create a connection between this local repository and our github repository so i hit enter so right here i'll just go ahead and i'll push to our main branch so git push minus u origin main and that will push our code right here so if i refresh we'll now have our code at github as you can see so now that we have our code at github all we need to do is to connect this uh, code now to our vassal so we just need to go to vassal.com uh, and you'll create uh, an account if you don't have one and uh, um, actually log in once you are logged in from here i think i can be able to add a new project i'll click on a new project right here i can choose this one so i'll import it and right here you'll see we have here environment variables so remember we ignored our env file from uh, pushing it to github now what you can do is to go to that file env then what you'll do you'll say uh, control a to select everything then control c to copy okay once you copy you'll come here click on the uh, input field here then say control v and as you'll notice at the bottom all those environment variables have been added right here okay very nice then after that uh, i think you'll just hit on deploy so hit on deploy and let's see if it will successfully deploy if we get any issues uh, we will try and fix them mostly it doesn't work on the first try but let's see so we have one error here failed to compile and we see react hook use toast is called conditionary so we have here uh, my bookings client so we have an error there so what we need to do is to go back to the code if you have the same error you'll easily know the error if they are marked red uh, the yellows are warnings they are not that bad but if you have red then it will not run at all so let's go to my booking um, bookings client file and try to fix that issue so we go to components booking my bookings client and what did we see we called use uh, use toast conditionary here so we used it after this condition so if you have any hook below there below that make sure it's above there so move this above that if statement um, if you have any hook below this line I don't see any other hook here make sure it's above here okay uh, the all hooks should be called at the top level and then uh, now that I added git and github right here on my vs code I have these to uh, push the code I can easily add the message right here and push the commit um, but for you if you don't have that working well you can also go the manual way of saying git add and i'll say all then git commit then you enter the message moved use toast hook at the top level
uh, something like that we hit enter and that file will be added then you need to push your code now to github so git push hit enter and that will be pushed to our github so once it's pushed to github i think um this project will automatically start recompiling okay so if you go to if you go back i think you have your project here okay what should we do if you go to chow charles here uh, we already have that project right here and you can see we have this moved use toast hook at the top level so if you click on it you'll see that um, i think it will start building by itself so it's building already and now you'll see if you have any other errors that might arise so oh, we have these errors which says our dynamic server usage uh, couldn't be statically rendered but this does not prevent our project from compiling uh, actually i'm not sure how to solve these issues so if you know uh, you can let us all know at the comment section below so i'll scroll past all these and you'll notice that our project successfully compiled and deployment completed so it it actually like uh, compiled and it deployed if you come at the top you'll notice that it's deployed and you have this url which you can visit uh, to see that page so if i click on this one i'll open on a new tab here look we have our project running uh, which is good images are being loaded which is good that means that even our database is connected so we'll just perform a few tests and see if everything is working okay for example let's search for um, beach hotel if i type beach and stop typing uh, it took some time to update i think it's still you know stabilizing and we get beach right there if i remove it is removed from there and we get all of them let's try to filter by country so kenya and then here state let's say nairobi city and by that we only get this one here which is in nairobi clear filter we get all of them so it's it's working there uh, you can click on it to see if you get more details about it and it actually tells us to log in i thought we had made that page public another issue that i have noticed is that we have these at our more details you should hide them okay at our login we should like hide them and they will be only available at the home page anyway so right here let's log in first and see if everything works i'll use one of my gmails and it took us back here we should be able to see more details about a hotel like that and like that so to fix some small issues like this one here it's easy so the first one that you can fix is that for location filter you can go to search filter so components search input and remember we did something like this if we are not uh, if the path name is not at home we return null so you should do the same for location filter so right here i'll paste this and for such input i'll come and copy this go to location filter at the top level we initialize that hook and let's bring that from next navigation now we save so that should fix it uh, another thing uh, you can go to middleware.ts and i thought we had made this to be public or we should have included here stroke so that we are able to visit the details uh, even without you know logging in okay so i'll save that so right now i'll use this to push the code to github and i'll say um 
fixed middleware and hidden location filter. I'll commit that and I will sync the changes so that will be pushed and uh, it will redeploy our application automatically. So Vassel will detect the change and it will deploy that app. So note that here, this version that we are running is for a specific push. So these rings um, might fail and maybe you can use this main one right here. This will always be updated. But for this one, I doubt that link will be the same once we redeploy. So if I come back here, so we have this new commit. So if I click on the commit, this I think it will have its own deployment and its own domains so i'll wait for this to build again and then we'll see if those changes work so whenever you make a change and you push again you'll see that it will always uh, redeploy the app and uh, it's actually finalizing the deployment here so now that it's deployed we have this main one here this main link and i think that one will not change uh, whenever you visit it unlike this last one which i think it's for a specific commit so let's see what happens here let's visit more details and right now we are able to visit more details without logging in and why is that uh, i fixed this route we should have included a forward slash there and uh, that is why it didn't work well so now the location filter are also hidden from this page and that is awesome so you can uh, continue on to test your application uh, test booking right here should we test it we can just say that and book room oops we should be logged in and as we have seen after we log in our redirect url takes us to home um so you can change that url and uh, you know you can just make the app much much better but so far so good we have deployed the application and you can even book a room so you see we get to this page where you can actually process the payment so four two four two four two four two four two four 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 pay now processing and room reserved so it's even paying and if you go to my bookings you can see that right here uh, a few seconds ago we booked for three days and room reserved you can view hotel and so on so that is how you can deploy your application and with that uh, that marks the end of this course i hope you have learned something or you have learned a lot of stuff and uh, yeah if you really enjoyed please support my channel subscribe you can also purchase the source code on patreon you'll get access to all the source code we have the next 13 e-commerce app we have man e-commerce app we have man chat app we have these now and many others which you can get access to on my patreon so you can support me on patreon and also subscribe to the channel leave a nice comment once you successfully complete this project tell me that you have completed the project at the comment section below tell us the challenges you faced and uh, the good things that you have experienced and uh, i really appreciate to know that you have actually done this project so that is it for now and uh, i'll see you on the next course